What is up, everybody? Sveinsen here, back with another MLB 9 Innings video. Okay, so today we're going to do a little guide, not really a video of gameplay, but more about how to play. And so recently, we have that fifth year anniversary package on sale where you get... Um, oh, let me collect all... Yeah, this is a, this is a new account, by the way. Um, so there's a, a 10th year anniversary pack on sale, right, where you get a SIG player pack, you get a v premium vintage player pack, bronze player pack, some skill change tickets. It's great, right? During these times, you might see people get some really good cards from the SIG player pack and not be very good teams. Um, so what what's happening there is people are resetting to make what's called an alt account, you know, just another account, um, another another team. Maybe they add it to their club so that they can get a higher overall club. Uh, but they mostly start these during events so that um, they can keep resetting the game and keep re-rolling until they get, say, from the signature pack that's available, until they, say, get a, a Diamond Sig player that they can build their team around, or maybe from these premium vintage player packs, they get a legend that they can build their team around. So that's what we're going to end up doing, and that's what I'm going to teach you how to do today. I'm just going to show you how to game reset, show you how to keep opening these Sig player packs, and... You can do this, you know, sometimes there are events where you get uh, diamond packs. You can keep resetting till you get a diamond prime. There are some events where you get diamond vintage packs. You can keep resetting until you get a diamond legend. Uh, here, what I'm going to aim for is either a uh, diamond signature player or a legend from the premium vintage player pack. So, uh, yeah, we'll just open these while I'm here. I don't expect to get anything good. Uh, premium vintage... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dick Allen is nice. He's a... But obviously that's not what we're going for. Sig player pack. Not a diamond, right? Uh, Ryan Braun, 15. You know, see that? That's a good card. If he ended up being a diamond, like I'd reset and build a Milwaukee deck, right? So now, didn't get anything I need. Oh no. Um... I'm going to go back to show you now how to reset the game and how to keep coming back until you get something good. Uh, so again, this is just for making an alt account. I wouldn't do this on your main account. You'll lose all your progress. Um, but if you just do this on a new account you want to start, maybe your club needs another high overall person, um, you can go make that alt account. So we're going to go here. There are a couple buttons to the side. Uh, you can log out. I'm not going to do that. You can league reset, which just resets the year of your league. Uh, see, I can reset it to 2023, just the years I've played. Um, or you can game reset, which says, if you reset the game, all game data, including your purchase records, will be deleted. So first, let me make sure. Yes, this is, in fact, not my main account. My main account is Yachty is Goat. This is Finds and Twitch. Um, by the way, if you don't already, follow me on Twitch. I don't stream too often, but I do sometimes. So now we go in. We click this game reset. Are you sure you want to reset the game? Of course. Please reconfirm all data and purchase records have been deleted permanently. You will be starting the game from the beginning. So if you have SIGs, you'll lose SIGs. If you have Primes, you'll lose those Primes. Legends, they're gone. So only do this on a new account unless you're really sure you want to start a new account. Okay? So you have to type in nine innings and click the game reset button. Oop, I have to hit okay. And boom, it takes you back to the starting screen. Does its little loading thing. And let's see, maybe it has to load up here. I'm doing this on my computer. I've noticed it's a little bit slower than on my phone. Um, 100%. So now it takes you straight to the tutorial. 
Uh, you just click the play all button. You know, I think you can skip the tutorial. If you play it, you get a premium pack. Um, I don't need a premium pack. I'm just resetting until I can get the... Uh, I'm just resetting until I can get the SIG player pack. I'm going to play on the West server on America. I honestly did not know uh, Europe had a server, but that's pretty cool to know. So I'm going to reset for America. If you're on the East or if you're over in Asia, you can reset for Asia. And I don't know how big this game is in Europe. I feel like it's mostly Asia and America that play. But if you're in Europe, it's cool to know that they have a time zone for you. So set America. This doesn't matter. I'm just, I don't know. I'll pick Detroit. Uh, when you go to do one of these kinds of resets, it doesn't matter what team you pick because you're just going to end up changing to whatever team your uh, SIG player ends up coming from. So Casey Mize seems like a cool one to grab. Again, you're just resetting for SIG, so it doesn't matter uh, which one of these you pick. We'll grab Casey Mize. We'll grab... Uh, well, let's grab Candelario. So, they'll come in with a silver grade. And you probably remember all of this. Um, it gives you a random name. Go to the next screen. And now it's going to tell you to check your guide missions. Yeah. So, you can follow all this. It's just going to click you through what to do. It gives you two diamond players for 24 hours. Give you your team info. Um, tells you how to do all this. Again, this is just like an intro to the game. Gives you the welcome box, which you can get from your inbox. Collect all. Wow, thank you, welcome box. See what's in our inventory. Tells you to unlock it. And nice. You get the 70 overall achievement. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, cool. So now we can go to the... Uh, close this. Oop, close this. We can go to our best items. And it's going to have the 5th Anniversary Special Gift. And there, we can just go again. Sick Player Pack. Premium Skill Change. Uh, we're going to take this grade up. This IGI. We don't have a ton of those on these accounts. And if we get um, a Legend, we'll want that IGI. In three Premium uh, Vintage Player Packs. Collect these rewards. Yes. And then we just go open them again. Inventory, Ooh. premium vintages, Let's see if we get a legend. Jano Park, Mitch Icorn, Jay McDowell, Jack McDowell. And signature player pack, do we get a diamond? Wow, first try, yeah. Jesus, we get a good one, oh my gosh. Fran Mill Ray is 19. And there you go. Boom. Now I have an alt account. Cleveland deck. I like Cleveland. I'll do it. So there you go. That is how you reset. Now I got mine on the first reroll. Okay. Um, it may take you 10. It may take you 15. It may take you 100. I think that there's like a 3% chance of getting a diamond from these packs. So um, I just used up all my luck for the year on making a a silly alt account so you can buy from the store a let's see is it in items uh item team name change which i will eventually buy but it lets you let you change once for free and a team change ticket ticket for a uh, thousand stars and ten thousand points so i'll change to cleveland for this deck and we're done. That's how you reset for an alt account.
So if you like this kind of guide, uh, please let me know. I will uh, keep making more of them. If you don't like this kind of guide, also let me know because I would really just make this to see what you guys like. Um, other than that, uh, like the video if you like what I'm putting out. Leave a comment. If you have questions about how to reset, leave it below. I'll try to get back to you on that. You know, Even if this video has been out for like three years, I'll see what I can do to help you. See if they still let you do this. And uh, you know, if you're this, if you're here and this helped you, um, don't forget to subscribe to me. It really helps me out and I appreciate it a lot. I will uh, talk to you guys uh, next week.